Well, hey there, guys. It's your favorite backyard geographers out in the garage. Going to my junk, and I thought of you. You know, growing up, we've all had that special toy that was there when we needed them. And it's interesting to reflect on these past decades as to what was popular at that time. Some had a favorite plush, maybe a favorite toy, but some of us in the 1980s had both. Come dream with me tonight as I share my original in the box Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin would make his debut in 1985 by the Worlds of Wonder Toy Company. He was the creation of Ken Forsey, who had worked both for the Walt Disney Company and the Sid and Marty Craft Entertainment Company. Many of you might remember the show Welcome to Pooh Corner, which was a popular Disney Channel show in 1983. He designed the animatronic scene in the show, and it was a huge success. Ken would use these skills to change the world and create the best-selling toy of 1985 and 1986. Not bad, since they did cost $69.99 a piece. By today's value, that's about $180 each. Now, let's get this out of the way. He is not a bear. He's an Iliop from the planet Grundo. Now, the technology would be very simple. A traditional cassette tape carries two tracks, one for sound, the other would be used for motion. The data stream controlled little motors that move the eyes and mouth and could also divert audio signals to his buddy here, Grubby, Teddy's best friend. This allowed the two to engage in a pre-recorded interaction. Fun fact, did you know that Teddy was almost not known as Teddy? His name was originally Simeon Greep. They made a good choice there. So what I wanted to show real quick is on the back, if you open up, you have your location for your batteries and your spot for your cassette tape and your on off switch. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. So I'm gonna put Teddy over here because Teddy wouldn't be complete without his buddy, Grubby. He's about twice as heavy, in case you're wondering. I love the detail on the boxes, very 80s with all of the, let me show you the back real quick, the designs and the characters. We'll talk more about those friends in a moment. But, I mean, look at the colors on this. I mean, it's just so vibrant. And here is Grubby. Now, Grubby wasn't Teddy's only friend. They also released several other non-animatronic companion toys. This includes two different versions of the bird-like fobs. One was orange, one was purple. They were like a hand puppet with a sock type fixture on the end. The other puppets were a large woolly what'sit that had also three interchangeable anythings, a this, a that, and the other, a twig, an LB and a blunder. So if you notice down here, I was able to share some of my original 1985 plastic characters, little toys, that were also available to purchase. I mean, guys, this was a huge franchise. Teddy Ruxpin was massive with what, you know, the market that it competed with. Teddy would also star in his own animated series and his own live action series, both of which will be available on Amazon in early 2021. Now, World of Wonder not only sold the books, the cassettes, the toys, they also sold additional outfits. Kind of like you're a Build-A-Bear in a sense, but obviously way before that. So I wanted to share some of the outfits. The first one I show is in the box still. This is the official Teddy Ruxpin Sings The Love Songs. And if you open it up, you can see that inside would be his tux as well as the cassette and the book that goes with the, the read-along. Other outfits, I mean, and there were lots. <laughs> I only have a couple to share. There was his flying outfit, hiking outfit, the night shirt, raincoat, a Christmas outfit, sleeping outfit for both him and Grubby. There's a summertime outfit, a winter outfit, his workout outfit, so many different things. So I wanted to kind of share some of those outfits that I have here. One of my favorites, you have the official Teddy Ruxpin pillow and 
<laughs> and the matching blankie. So when Teddy was laying next to you in bed, you, you'd have his little pillow and blanket. I do love this one. You know, all the outfits came with accessories. Here you have some shoes. Here would have been his undergarment. I love the, the corduroy with the matching fur coat. Look at that detail. Teddy Ruxpin logo on the chest with the fur. Love that. Probably one of my second favorite outfits would be this one here. Look at this. 1980s beach shirt matching swimming trunks. Little, little pull ties. Would not be complete without his visor. And we used to call them thongs, <laughs> but I guess flip flops to match purple. He also had his Christmas outfit, which had the matching pants and uh, black fake leather shoes and a big belt. Love that, just the detail that, I don't know. It's just so much fun. And then you have to have his sleep outfits. You have his little robe, in case he got chilly. And then, this probably was one of my favorites as a kid. You have the actual sleep gown, which is very cute with the matching little hat with the ball on the end and the little spot for his ears to stick out. It was an entire culture of its own, uh, of which is really exciting. It's part of the 80s. You know, and unfortunately, at the end of 1986, Teddy Ruxman did meet a very small fate. We had the toy crisis uh, and also one of the biggest stock market crashes within our lifetime at that point and the toy company went debunked and it got purchased by a couple other different you know groups uh, but you know it's still it's traveled on Teddy Ruxpin did make a comeback more recently in 2020 and also the Jim Henson company purchased the rights to reanimate and make some new shorts so let's go back to Teddy so again, well, this isn't my first Teddy, because if you ever grew up with a Teddy Ruxpin, you know the first thing that broke was the mouth and the eyes, because we thought, oh, how magical that the eyes and mouth move, so you start touching it and that breaks the mechanism, so. But anyway, again, here's your Teddy Ruxpin. You flip him around to the back. He's got his little Velcro, you flip that back. You open up the back, and then you take your cassette. This isn't my favorite cassette. I have other ones here. I've got my Christmas one, the grunge music, and then the lullabies. I think the lullabies was my favorite one as a kid. How do I know? Well, I remember it, but also because the cassette is worn out. And, you know, even if I tried, for those who don't remember, I used to put a pencil in here to rewind it. Uh, it just still didn't quite work out. But you put the cassette inside the back, and then you flip the switch. And then you turn them around, and then Teddy, comes to life. Teddy Ruxpin, how are you today? I would like to tell you the story of the missing princess. It all started when Grubby, Gimmick, and I were flying the airship in search of the treasure. We ran out of the wood that we used for fuel in the airship, and we were forced to land in the great desert. I don't think we're going to find much wood around here, fellows. I'm afraid you're right, Grubby. Don't go up. Gimmick, are you all right? Uh, 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 yes, I'm fine. I just tripped over this rock. So one more thing to point out in the back of Teddy again. You see there's a little spot down here. So that was for a very special design cable that I do not own. Uh, they retailed currently for about $100 a piece. But there was a cable that you would have to buy that would clip in here. And then it would connect to his buddy, Grubby. And then it would actually, they would interact back and forth. This technology was very effective. And in fact, so effective that not only did Teddy Ruxpin be produced, but they also made a Mickey and a Goofy that would communicate back and forth. They also contracted to make a Mother Goose, a Big Bird, a Snoopy, and many other characters as well. Well, I hope that this was something interesting and different for you. 
If you had a Teddy Ruxpin, I'd love to hear what your favorite song was, or if you've never seen this before, I'd like to get your feedback and comments on it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll talk soon. And Teddy comes to life. Sh At some point. Should he come to life? Well, it takes time. Unless I put the tape in cassette back back backwards, which is... There it goes. <laughs> Hold on. It's old.